Well, ladies and gentlemen, Canada is having a population party and virtually everyone in the world is welcome. Come on in, come in one, come in all. Everybody can come in and be a Canadian. Well, I know that was kind of a joke, but not really at the same time because Canada is really heavily focused on growing our population as quick as possible, it seems. And listen, while I think that's a great idea and I love having different cultures and people come to Canada, I think it's great. We just don't have enough houses. What are we doing? So the big thing is if you come to our country, make sure to bring your own house. No, I'm just kidding. But we have a serious issue right now that we have to deal with. And we're going to talk about exactly what is going to happen over the next couple of years, what we expect, but more importantly, how this is going to impact the real estate market. So stay tuned. Okay, so to start off with, we'll talk a little bit about population growth versus housing supply, a conversation that's come up many times, but we'll give some numbers to think about here going forward. Some statistical highlights showing you the imbalance of what's actually happening in the marketplace. A little bit of a housing analysis and more let's get right into it shall we first and foremost in the last 24 months with data that's available to us get this we have 2.076 million new canadians added to our country which is mental 954,000 new households were added with 399,000 new housing units complete well that seems off doesn't it especially considering the fact that we have a lot of canadians who were born here and live here who are going to need housing in the next couple of years you can see why so many people are concerned about the impending well it's not impending the real housing crisis that we're dealing with here in canada and what's more we have no indication that they're going to slow down on immigration which means the housing crisis only gets worse from here all right so let's get into the data but before we do make sure to of course hit that like and subscribe button on the channel especially if you're loving this information because the only way and the reason that I keep doing that is because more people get a chance to see it with myself and my beautiful pug Chewy right here because we love giving you this mortgage and real estate data to help you have more success in your day-to-day -day. of course leave some comments if you have any questions I'd love to interact so let's get into some real data and serious numbers here to talk about what's going on in this real estate housing crisis and why for no other reason than a lack of housing real estate values will continue to whoop, go up in Canada first and foremost for the actual numbers that I shared with you earlier we actually had 954,000 new households formed with only 399,000 new units complete this is approximately 5.2 newcomers for every house household unit which is simply not enough we should be at basically half that number or double the amount of housing units to have any semblance of available housing for the people that are coming to our country notwithstanding the people that already live here as well now on the positive side, we have seen housing construction grow over the course of 2023, according to most recent reports. There are some a few issues associated with that under dwellings under construction. One of the biggest issues is that we've actually seen a massive dip in the number of single family homes under construction, which is another reason and leading indicator that single family homes and land values will continue to grow. Most of these potential increases in building construction are actually more related to rentals and condos, which is good to a degree, but not when you're building building a ton of studios and one bedrooms that are only really going to be able to suit one person or a couple in some situations a family of three people at the end of the day we're building but we're still not building the right amount of properties and in the right amount of time which is a major issue now our pm advised affordability will take a few more years be patient that is a complete load of bull and in our opinion they're just not acting well enough we saw the canadian mortgage charter of rights we saw the new housing bills come out and while there are some interesting considerations and conversations to be had this is not going to fix the problem and we are going to have a serious not just housing crisis but change in property values over the next five years alone if something or someone doesn't take any serious action beyond what's already happened at this point right now now the immigration policy impact has been massive to consider the fact Fact that immigration so new immigration accounts for 98 percent of new population that is an absolutely staggering number and the effect on housing as we suggested previously was that we were seeing primarily only condos being built no townhomes or single family homes which means we're not actually building the right types of properties available as well which is another reason for concern now overall what is the impact to the mortgage market and where could things actually be impacted as far as the day-to-day -day finance of these applications with 1.25 million newcomers in one year it leads to the potential of inflationary pressures continuing now we already know that interest rates are much higher than what they have been in the past and really should be and a big part of that is 
Of course, bringing in this many people holds inflation high, which is continuing to hold interest rates on the higher side, which is impacting the average Canadian homeowner who owns a piece of real estate today. One thing that we'd like to see is the government consider some changes to the insurability of mortgages, possibly allowing insured mortgages up to a 30 year amortization, or even just consider allowing a refinance to be under the insured mortgage program. Neither of these things will have a detrimental impact, we believe, to the overall ability for someone to actually debt service and hold a loan. But with property values growing, not providing some more opportunities for people to get into the marketplace is holding a lot of people out. And of course, keeping it so that a lot of people don't have that access or entry into the marketplace unless they came from money. And that's a serious issue when we consider the possibility of the quote unquote middle class in Canada as it continues to shrink year over year over year. So again, what does this all mean? for potential changes to the real estate and mortgage market and where are some of the opportunities or where are we likely to see more people get involved in the market now as a mortgage professional myself i think that we will see a lot more people who will require access to the new to canada lending programs and there aren't very many people who have a strong grasp on these programs and there are only certain lenders that allow them now understanding these programs pretty well myself and working with many people who have been recently coming to the country these programs will be a lot hotter and a lot bigger and a lot more important over the coming years in addition to that as we mentioned previously, the government has pushed a lot of money into building and construction, whether it be rental owned properties through the CMHC supported growth of MLI Select and many other programs, which means that we'll start to see a little bit more of a push into the multifamily and rental use only construction space over the coming years. The average individual, however, won't necessarily see the impact of that unless they're a renter or there's someone looking to get into the development space. Another factor that we could see and a huge opportunity for people, let's be honest here, is the residential landlord. And for someone looking to buy residential units, as you can probably imagine with the lack of housing supply, an increase in house prices, guess what? Rental rates will continue to grow. This is the one thing that we know to be true is that rental rates will continue to go up over time regardless of anything else. So we do believe that people who are considering getting into the real estate investing market in the residential side will see some substantial growth in rental rates over the coming years. Of course, we always recommend making sure that you do your due diligence and talk to someone in the market who has experience, but this is another place where we will see some opportunities in the real estate market if that is you. At the end of the day, what does this mean for anybody and everybody getting into the real estate market? Well, unsurprisingly, if you can buy a piece of real estate and you can make a smart investment, purchase today. My suggestion is always, if you can, to purchase land. If you can't, buy what you can in an area that has growth potential and you'll continue to see the value of your property go up over time as long as you hang on to it. You know, at the end of the day, I truly believe that real estate will be inaccessible for some families in as soon as five to 10 years, even more so than it has been in the past because there doesn't appear to be any real fix for this housing crisis. And of course, as we've seen across the country and across the world, it will continue to be a separation from those who have versus those who have not. If we do see any of the governments start to get immigration under control, those numbers could start to work their way back down while we find a more sustainable way to build housing in our country to house the people who are already here before, of course, bringing more people into the country itself. Ultimately, I don't have the answer and I don't have one answer, but this is what's going on right now and this will impact real estate value. Now, the only thing I know to be true is if you want to have success, take it in your own hands, make the best decision that you can with the information you have and get involved in the real estate market today. Of course, if you like this video, make sure to check out the rest of the videos below, the podcast, the flow, real estate and money show. And if you want to work together on your home financing, make sure to click that link below so that my team and I can support your real estate dreams.